Human Connections, Speller's Guide to Friendship by Peyton Colvin. The hardest thing in my sorely challenging experience being in public school is the divide I feel between the typical students and myself. The students I go to school with remain kind and try, but they have no idea how to make me a part of their life in a meaningful way. This is my best attempt to make it easier for all of us. My greatest piece of advice for all of us is to meet each other and be your true self while showing patience and grace right away so someone else can do the same. My thoughts take a long time to communicate and it's frustrating when others try to make me go faster or don't want to hear what I'm trying to get out. The best thing others can do is to make a point to slow down and listen for my response rather than moving on and forgetting I'm still speaking. The next thing about really becoming someone a speller can count on is making sure I'm not your supported pet, instead I'm your peer. This distinction is subtle sometimes, but I don't want to be your project. Treat me like anyone else. If you would goof with your friends, do it with me. You don't have to be careful with me. You can treat me deeply, silly, or serious, or mischievous, or friendly, depending on our relationship. No one wants to be held with gloves and not embraced for their many unique traits. This is my last piece of advice. Think about how you would want others to speak about you if you were always listening. We are hearing all the things that are being said about us when we leave the room because neurotypical people don't hide things well. You are likely giving off the vibes that you feel when we're not around even if you act differently to our faces. Seeing your true feelings is mostly deflating because it might not match your words. You can tell us anything, but know we understand the underlying feelings. The goal of everyone is to be known and appreciated for the person they are. This applies to spellers too.